Today is the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God's peace be with you. Now let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. The first reading from the second book of Samuel. The word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David. Thus the Lord speaks, When your days are ended, you are laid to rest with your ancestors. I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne secure forever. I will be a father to him, and he a son to me. If he does evil, I will punish him with the rod, such as men use, with strokes such as mankind gives. Yet I will not withdraw my favour from him, as I redrew it from a predecessor. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me, and your throne will be established forever. The Word of the Lord Second reading A letter from St. Paul to the Romans The promise of inheriting the world was not made to Abraham and his descendants on account of any law, but on account of the righteousness which consists in faith. That is why what fulfills the promise depends on faith, so that it may be a free gift and be available to all of Abraham's descendants, not only those who belong to the law, but also those who belong to the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us. As scripture says, I have made you the ancestor of many nations. Abraham is our father in the eyes of God, in whom he put his faith, and who brings the dead to life, and calls into being what does not exist. Though it seemed Abraham's hope could not be fulfilled, he hoped and he believed, and through doing so, he did become the father of many nations, exactly as he had been promised. Your descendants will be as many as the stars. This is the faith that was considered as justifying him. The Word of the Lord The Gospel Acclamation Glory and praise to you, O Christ. They are happy who dwell in your house, O Lord, forever singing your praise. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honour and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, 
Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. The Gospel of the Lord Today, we celebrate the solemnity of Joseph, the husband of Mary. He is the faithful and prudent steward God had put in charge of his household. In the season of Lent, this solemnity will remind us of God's salvation plan, His love for us. Joseph's ancestry can be traced to King David, and in the first reading, we hear that the Lord had told David to the prophet Nathan that it is not David who will build a house for the Lord, rather it will be his offspring, and you hear it in these words. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne secure forever. This refers to the Messiah King, whom we know is Jesus Christ. In the second reading today, we are told that Abraham believed, even though it did not seem possible, how he who is Charles can be the father of many nations and his descendants as many as the stars. From David's descendants, the Lord will fulfill his promise of the Messiah King. It will come from Joseph, the husband of Mary. He is the privileged one. He who is to look after Jesus the Christ, the one whom the Lord had promised and whom all are waiting for. Joseph did not understand what was happening. But when the angel of the Lord spoke to him, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. He is the one who is to save his people from their sins. He trusted in God and in faith believed and followed and carried out his duties faithfully as a husband and a father. His example reminds all of us to listen first and then live by faith, follow the Lord's salvation plan and not to look at our own plans only. God is always ever faithful to us. This land, let us walk closer with God in faith. Faith will give us hope as it did to Joseph when he found his betrothed to be with child. Like Joseph, we will experience difficult and trying situations, and we do not know what to do. Just like the many pilgrimages that people have signed up for this year, for Holy Land and Europe, etc., during Lent and Easter this year. Many either have been cancelled or postponed due to the widespread of the COVID-19 virus. When we are no longer in control, this is where faith comes in. When we cannot comprehend and ask, why is this happening to me? Why me? When we see no solutions, remember that Abraham's faith justified him. And so when we are at the lowest point in our life, God is the one who will deliver us through Jesus Christ. We must follow Abraham. David and Joseph by learning to listen to God's word and then make the decision to trust. Then we can act. Only by faith can we follow faithfully as Abraham, David and Joseph did. Let us now pray the prayer the Lord has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray. The family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Make this prayer to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.